Greetings, brothers and sisters. How are you doing? I hope all of you are safe and well. Uh, it's called quarantine now, isn't it? Because before it was called lockdown. Now, the last week, what I'm hearing about is quarantine. Uh, we're all under quarantine. We're all under lockdown. Instead of saying lockdown, they say quarantine. I'm feeling fine. As you probably gathered, I've had a nice shave since we last spoke. You can see no moustache. The moustache is gone. And I've got my Arsenal, one of my old Arsenal shirts on. Uh, and so I hope you all are right out there. You're taking care of yourselves and each other. Uh, today's date we've got for you Tuesday, the 21st of April uh, 2020. And the time is approximately 25 minutes past the hours of 9 uh, in the after, in the evening, uh, in the night. And I'm just really here, brothers and sisters, to keep pushing you, to give you some confidence, to let you know that... That you must always go for your goals. I know that we're under lockdown now. You know we can't go out as much. We, a lot of us can't go to work because our workplace is closed. Some of us have got our children around us, and so on and so forth. And so, uh, you know, it's it, to some it's a bit of a. It, it can be boring, yeah. But I do feel as though if you've got children, it's not as boring because your children run around and it keeps you active, it keeps you busy and so they keep you occupied both mentally and physically there's so many things you could do, you could write a book or you could start to write a book you could probably create a game that's what I've been trying to do, I'm trying to create a game I'm writing a book anyway read some things, catch up with some reading and other things you could do, housework, domestic work around the house go for your record collection <laughs> which I've been doing a vast record collection I've got without number and so brothers and sisters to get into the serious stuff now to let you know that you know don't let anybody get you down don't let anybody tell you that you can't do X, Y or Z because especially us as a people as black people we've been down for so long we've really been downtrodden for so long and sometimes we listen to voices outside we listen to what other people are saying to us and we let that determine you know our uh, our thinking and our ethos and our maneuvers i mean i remember many years ago when i was just getting into radio and this is many years this is probably nearly 15 years ago when i was just getting into radio and I remember the very, the very first show I did, it was because I had to fill in for one of my friends. I wasn't even on the radio station, but because I used to, they used to, you know, give a lot of competitions over, over the, on air, over air. And I used to participate in these conversations and these competitions. And they liked what, they liked many of the answers I gave. And so they said, oh, you know a lot about this music. This is reggae and soul uh, and jazz. They were giving many, many competitions out and I would answer them and I would always get them correct. And I'd even give them questions to ask the, the public. And they said to me, oh, Chris, Chrissy, B. at the time, oh, Chris. But I, afterwards I became known as Chrissy B. I was Chrissy B before that. But at the time, nobody really knew because I mean, I was on the radio. I was playing on a sound system which my father and his friend ran down in West London in Eden called a Scorpion Sound. And I used to summer supply my records to my father and his friends they play it on that sound system but anyway not to digress and it got to the stage where when I said the first show I did I was actually about to be coached and at the same time the guy who coached me his name is Marky he's still around a very good friend of mine he told me the ins and outs of radio because before then I was never on radio I was playing as I said on a sound system and I was playing I had my set at home which I played some at parties and even when I was at my, my, my parents and my grandparents' home, I would sometimes play, you know, be, play music for various events. But I was never on radio before that. And so Marky, uh, who was, was one of the guys who got me into the radio, as I said, the competitions, I, I would answer a lot of competitions, I would answer a lot of questions, and so on. And they said, oh, do you, do, would, you seem to know a lot about this music. Would you like a show? Would you like to come and, 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 and be one of our DJs? Because you seem to know a lot about the music. And so I took up the baton and I did. But as I said, the first show I did, when I finally accepted their offer, it was for a radio station called Sweet FM, which is based, it was, a, it was really an underground station, a pirate station. Uh, played reggae, soul, jazz, all sorts of black music. But predominantly soul and reggae. And I based in Edmonton in North London. 
and he actually acted, he actually acted coached me through that old show I did. It was a two hour show I did, which was on a Sunday afternoon. As the guy, the main guy who was whose who show it was, his slot, he was in Sweden, a reggae festival called the Absula Reggae Festival. And so he, he, he also became a very good friend of mine because he was one of the guys who actually got me into the radio because he said, okay, then I'm going to Sweden. So I let this young guy, Chrissy B, let him come on and see what he can do because I mean, yeah, give him a try. And so I was very, 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 very grateful to, to Masai. His name is Masai. And the guy who coached him, Marky, who took me through the show, told me what controls not to touch, what to touch, how to say certain things on the radio, how to speak and how to hold the mic. So I was being taught technically as well as physically and just selecting the records. And because I knew a lot about the music, I knew a lot of the, the stories behind some of the songs and some of the artists. And Mark, he would just say, okay then, Chrissy, but you do your thing. You speak, you, you talk your talk, but I'm going to help you with the, with, the, with the controls and how, you know, how you must sound on the radio and no gaps. I remember he said, one thing he said to me, no gaps. So if you run out of things to say, play a jingle or just, 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 just waffle. But as long as you waffle and it makes sense, so many things. And a lot of people deny what goes into radio. It's, it's not, a, it's not an easy thing. And looking back all those years ago, uh, 15 years ago, it, it, nearly 15 years ago, it makes you realise that it's not an easy thing. So people on the radio have got to respect them. And so anyway, he gave me confidence by saying that, oh, keep doing what you're doing, and we like what you're doing. And a lot of people phoning in the radio station was making some comments about what I was saying and how I was saying it, and say, oh, love this to you guy. And I was supposed to go back on the radio station, but they folded immediately after I did my show. Within a matter of, I actually think it's about six months after I did my show, they folded as a station. A lot of those DJs who was on Sweet FM went to another station called Climax Radio, which is based in East London. Excuse me. And I got on there because the guys who, the Marky who coached me, Masai who gave me the slot, because he had to go to Sweden, said, oh, let's get the guy coming to the station. And so I was on there for six months, on Climax for six months. But the confidence I got, I will talk about that another time, about how I got into the radio. We'll talk about, but I'm just giving you some snippets to tell you how I got the confidence I got, because i never spoken on the radio before. I've spoken in church when I used to go to church. And I've spoken at, at, uh, when, I was at, when I was at university, when I was at college, I had to go in front of the whole class and do a presentation. And I've spoken at events like parties and, and, and social gatherings. But I've never spoken on the radio before. And thousands of people around the world are listening to you. And so it was a daunting task. And so Marky gave me confidence by saying that what you're saying and how, you, how you're flowing with the history and your knowledge of the music, the, 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 the public actually love what you're saying because I'm getting a lot of phone calls from your listeners who say that they love what you're saying. And that gave me so much more confidence and I've been to many places and people have heard my shows over the years and various stations and have said to me, Chris B, what you say is brilliant and keep doing what you're doing. So we all need to touch each other from time to time. We all need to give each other a confident barge, as I call it. So when you see somebody doing something which is good, you give them the encouragement to keep doing you know, what they're doing. And I especially look at the youngsters of today. Uh, a lot of them need confidence. That's why they do what they do. That's why they, they're hurting each other and they're even killing each other. We need to get from them. We need to show them some things and let them know that, oh, tap into their, their inner self and ask them what they like to do. And then when they find their niche, when they find the thing they want to do, we're going to push them. You know, we're gonna, we're gonna, when, when we push them, we're gonna give them the utmost confidence uh, while they're doing what they're doing. So it's very, very important at this time to give, you know, people, people not just the young people, but people in general, it's very important to give them the confidence that they so probably need and, 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 you know, deserve. Because if you're doing something which is worthwhile, that, you know, so you should be, you, so you should be given confidence. So you should be, you should be given. A, a, some encouraging words you should offer some encouraging words to such people I mean look at people like Michael Jordan you know he was a snub when he was young but he had to go back and go back to the drawing board and make himself stronger both mentally and physically and he done that and he became the greatest basketball player in the world possibly the greatest basketball player of all time I've read many stories about many many famous people who if they never got the confidence they got from people around them they would never have done what they did you know, it, so it's a very important thing, thing to, to get that confidence. And as I said, don't keep your focus because we're now in a time now where this, this COVID-19 is 
capturing people's minds it's f focusing people's minds solely on that rather than other things that they want to do there's some people who, who want to write books there's sports people there's people who are in the arts and at the moment because of the because we're in quarantine people can't tour at the moment the musicians can't tour the actors because of the distancing we've got to keep it's throwing everything up in the air and so everybody's got to stay at home they're going to be in quarantine they're going to be under quarantine as we used to say in lockdown but now we're saying quarantine and it's, it's everything's that everything's sort of like stagnated everything's now become dormant it's frozen so once you're in that state don't let your mind be frozen you know don't let your physical self be frozen keep thinking keep reading keep trying to enhance yourself you know keep trying to write books you know, keep trying to write letters whatever you do whatever it is you you know whatever your niche is cook do it, keep practice at it. There's still YouTube, you can still go on YouTube and look at YouTube videos and you can, you can fold a friend and you know, you, you bounce off each other. There's a Bible talks about iron and sharp and iron. So if you fold a friend and your friend is doing something worthwhile, you, you, you sharpen your friend by encouraging that friend and hopefully you're doing something as well which is worthwhile, your friend will in turn sharpen you which means will encourage you. And so you should always have that confidence. You should you shouldn't always have to look for people to give you that confidence as well. That's another thing. Because confidence is a wide thing. You've got to have it inner. You've got it's got to be inner. You've got to have it in built in you. You know, that's what make, that's what makes the real top people in the world. People like Michael Jackson when he was around. People like Muhammad Ali when he was around. Bob Marley, all the greats, Pele, Nelson Mandela. That's what kept them going because they 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 they, they kept a focus, and they never got you know the sidetracked sidetracked into other things other events around them and there's many 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 events happening around them but they, they were very, very single minded and they kept that focus and that they kept that dedication and that drive you know that, that drive to keep on to keep on you know striving to be the best and to keep inspiring people and to be the top of their craft I also advise you to look at some Les Brown uh, videos on, on YouTube Les Brown is one of the best motivational speakers in, in history uh, Anthony Robbins is another great speaker and there's others as well and so brothers and sisters that's what I have for you today we're going to be trying to do some more posts and I want to try and get a post towards you to, to, to let you also to, to give you what the latest news is because there's so many, so many things going on now the world is changing uh, some people are saying I was listening to the news bulletin today and somebody was saying uh, that uh, the news bulletin had been read and then after the news bulletin had been read somebody was was reviewing the news and the person that was reviewing the news was saying that after quarantine after this COVID-19 situation is you know gone is this is you know is has uh, totally been eradicated somehow I've just shamed somebody <laughs> forgive me <laughs> it's gone yeah after all of this they're saying that the world won't be the same again you know because the banned flights yeah you know the the, the, the banned flight the, the, the affected areas in the world people like places like china places like italy and it's all over the world but the, the most affected places in the world the government is a is a banned people coming in from those countries to, to the to the uk and i know that donald trump had banned flights going going from various countries into america as well and so we can't move around as freely as we would like to. All that is gone. I mean, it's different. It's a different time now. And they were even saying that now people know that they can work from home. Perhaps there won't be a, a need for people to actually go into work anymore. People can work from home. So as long as they've got their, their computers, their PCs, their laptops, whatever device they use to work with at the, at the workplace, they can now use those at home. And it saves money for travel. It's going to save pollution as well because a car, there'll be less cars now on the road. Uh, uh, motorbikes some people actually use motorbikes to go to work of course there'll still be buses and trains and tubes but there might, there might, be, there might not be running to the same optimum as they usually do so all in all it's very good for the environment and for the animals because the air is a lot cleaner now you see and the trees can breathe as you can look at the trees as they're springing up so beautifully now and earlier this year as well last year I don't I believe I never saw any any trees any leaves on the tree spring until about May this year it was March <laughs> last month <laughs> so 
the, the, you know, the, the, the universe is actually healing itself. It, it, it's coming back. It, it go, it, it's coming back up to its full optimum. You know, it, it, so the, 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 the lack of pollution in the air and toxic, you know, toxic, toxic uh, materials which goes up into the air and it helps to pollute the whole universe that's been that's been done away with now because we're now you know using there's less cars in the road i saw a picture yesterday which somebody sent to me on whatsapp with the with lions yeah the lions are actually sleeping on the streets in various parts of the world so before the lions have to sleep in the bushes and so on uh, now the lions are actually sleeping on roads because there's no cars coming so nature is finding itself again the animals and the trees and so on, and everything is coming back into full optimum again. So maybe that's the way forward. I think it's, going to be, it's definitely going to be a different world now, going forward. You know, as I said the other day about you looking after yourself as well. Uh, that means drinking, you know, the right food, the right juices, eating the right foods. Make sure that your your vitamin C intake is very, very, very high. Uh, drink a lot of water. It's very, very, it's a good idea to squeeze some lemon and lime in the water. Because it helps to alkaline the blood and it's very very good for your immune system at this time you know and if you, you can eat fish but i'll advise you to stay away from all the red meats uh, if you, you shouldn't be eating red meat anyway but stay away from them and cut down on the chicken eradicate the chicken as well if you have to at this time chicken is not a bad thing it's actually quite a good thing because it's got protein in it uh, but the fish is the one because fish is good for the heart because fish has a lot of omega-3 fatty acids in it and have fatty acids, omega-3 fatty acids is very good for the heart, you see. So you could have fish. Fish is, fish is it's quite a good food to eat. I know there's some vegans that don't eat fish, of course. Semi-vegans might eat fish. Some vegans don't eat fish at all. Vegetarians will eat fish somewhat. I'm a semi-vegetarian. I would say I'm a, I'm a, I'm a semi-vegetarian and a part-time vegan because sometimes I don't eat meat whatsoever and I don't eat any animal byproducts whatsoever. I can go for months without eating any animal byproducts and any meat. So I'm a part-time vegan and a semi-vegetarian. So I'm, 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 I'm kind of like in between a bit. I can never be a full vegan because I do love fish and I do love chicken. I've not ate chicken for three months. Well, I've had fish once a week now. I used to eat fish a lot more, a lot more regular. But I've had to kind of cut down on certain things to get my body back into, into line again. And so, brothers and sisters, just think. If you have to wear your mask, wear your mask. Make sure you wash your hands on a regular basis. Wear your gloves. Cover your, your mouth when you're going out with your, with your mask. Uh, and I will also advise you, if you're going to the shops, to wash your products in the water because people touch it and they go back and sometimes people cough and they pick their nose and they touch it so if you're buying any whatever you're buying from the shops make sure that you wash it and uh, when you come home put it in some hot water with some soap and some bleach or some dental and just give it a wash and dry it again that's what I've, I've been doing that for the last month and wash the bags as well if you can because everything can get contaminated there's a lot of things to do there's a new way of thinking now you know so you've got to really follow follow the right the right guidelines at this moment in time and to, to be sensible of what you're doing you know and uh, be prepared because there's a big change coming there's a massive change coming and just be good to one another be respectful to one another you know it's not easy at this time because there's some real ignorant people around and some real uh, as we say in Jamaica some bad mind people <laughs> you know the English will say are some real ignorant people uh, uh, some real rotten people uh, but we'll say bad mind in jamaica <laughs> but for those of you who know you know you know so just be careful brothers and sisters you take care of it when there comes some more some more videos down the line we've got a lot of things to talk about but for now this is good enough and this is what you need to hear and what you need to know i read some dr sabi books read some dr Leila africa books and, and and just go and you can go to youtube and, and type in dr Leila africa or type in dr sabi and you get a, a lot of information and you, read, you, you listen to those guys and they'll guide you in the right possible way. So, Bob and sisters, love you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to our videos. Share the videos, please. Subscribe. Click, by, click down the bottom with, with the link, with the red link where it says subscribe. Subscribe. Like this video. Share the videos. Click on the bell so you get notifications whenever we, you know, post up a video. And leave your comments as well down below, you know. And tell me what you think and feel of the videos. So, brothers and sisters, love you all very much. You take care of yourselves. Peace out.